welcome to tonight's video recap. We hope you enjoy everything that we're bringing to you tonight. So, again, another fantastic evening of dressage from Aachen. We have Sonka Rothenberg on the beautiful Bay Cosmo. Lucky enough to be there to witness this. It's a horse that has had a few injuries and has been out of competition for quite some time. And it was one of his first big starts, trying to get himself on the German team. And... It was inspiring stuff. That was the only mistake he made in the entire performance. So you look for the fantastic tempo and rhythm, the ease and the elastic strides in the half pass. Perhaps he shows a little more left flexion than right flexion for the half passes, but of course both... Seriously good. The rain back five steps. One, two, three, four. Oops. Could have been another step. And the extended trot, the... Really good over track, super over track, really elastic strides, great freedom of the forehand and fabulous frame. It's clearly into the passage and the regularity and the way this horse performs the passage to me is really fantastic because the front leg comes halfway up the cannon bone and the hind leg to the fetlock, the PF a little bit forward. But we all got the impression that Sonko was just riding through this with not too much power, but just trying to get through the test without making any mistakes. Yeah, really beautiful swinging back. Maybe the walk could show a little bit more purpose, but again, not wanting to push him is quite a sensitive horse and a little break in the rhythm in the walk for a jog step would lose quite a lot of marks. So better to be a little bit cautious and no mistakes. Beautiful collected walk, super rhythm, very clear, just tracking up with the hind feet as it should be, obeying all the rules and all the ways that you should present these movements. Clearly into passage, no trot step. Total regularity. With the most beautiful freedom, beautiful light contact. Starting to come a little bit more under now. This Piaf is a little more on the spot than the first one. Sehr viel deutlicher schon wieder auf die Stelle angelegt. Hier diese nächste Piaf. Überlegen Sie mal. Beautiful articulation of the hind leg in the passage. Nice feeling of him lowering behind and clear, clear transition into canter. Now we've got the two tempi changes coming up. And as a younger horse, he was prone to make the odd mistake in the twos. He used to get a bit keen in two forward. We'll see how he goes. Eight, nine, beautiful. The last one was maybe a little bit tight, but all clean changes. I'm sure he'll get a good mark for that. Now the extended canter, a little modest. Could be a little bit more forward, but as I said, I think he was just playing it very safe. Very clear transition and a super change. So it all looks effortless and easy. 
auch hier nichts lernen. Was der jetzt braucht, ist die Sicherheit und die Ruhe im Vier. Should be six. Maybe the course is leading early at the end of that. This one's better. Again, the court is leading a little bit at the end. If we want to be hypercritical. So there's still room for a few more little marks. Now the ones, 15 of them. Perhaps a little bit tight in the neck, a little tiny bit behind the vertical. And again, he gets a little keen towards the end, but still a clean, clean line of 15 ones. Counter pirouettes. Very good articulation of the hind leg, really clear steps in the canter, and super control coming out a little bit shorter and more collected. Now the beautiful straight change with 10 marks. Super balance. It was, they were both good pirouettes, but they didn't mirror one another necessarily. The first one was more steps than the second one, but still super pirouettes, great marks. Now this beautiful extended trot that we've come to see from him, this super front leg, great uphill frame, and very pushing hind leg. And clearly to collect a trot and now a clear transition to passage here. And so it's all punctuated. There's no mistakes what he's doing. All the transitions are clear, the regularity, fantastic. Still a little bit forward. He could still get more marks if it was more on the spot. But still, super transitions in and out. And the passage to the halt. Fabulous. He looks so quiet, but believe me, if you watch a little further, he's not that quiet. So we have Cosmo back on the scene and Sonka Rothenberger for absolute sure and walking along in the background. As you can see, he's not so quiet. He went absolutely crazy. Anyway, uh, I'm sure we just saw the famous Rosalind Quist walk along the concourse. Lost his hat. So, uh, yeah, Sonka had a bit of a ride on the way out for sure, but what an absolutely amazingly fantastic test. Congratulations to you, Sonka. Super, super job and a horse for the future for the German team for sure. Back in the limelight. Of course, this was only the four star, which is a little less than the five star where um, Isabel had Bella Rose in. So he was playing it safe and just trying to get his foot back in the door to get on the team uh, and obviously looking towards Tokyo. So fantastic horse and beautifully ridden. Jo, 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 der ist wach. Mann. Aber das zeigt noch einmal mehr. Mann, was sind die für ein Paar? Das kostet. Okay. So now we have what everyone's been waiting for, the magnificent black horse, Glamourdale, who is by Glamourvale, is ridden by Charlotte Fry from Great Britain. I believe Charlotte's now training with Anna van Olst. And uh, 
for a young rider of her age, she is one exceptional rider. She never, ever holds back. She goes for everything and this horse was just fantastic. So we thought we should treat you to the horse that I think is probably the horse that everyone would have liked to have taken home from um, Arken. And Charlotte, as I said, just has her horses so in front of the leg and so uphill and so expressive. She doesn't hesitate in letting them be themselves a little bit. Here you can see him on the centre line being a little bit hot, a little bit excitable, but she doesn't care. She's going for broke. So huge marks. It's a KWPN stallion. And you can see why he scored the most amazing marks as a young horse. So this is the Pre St George. I think he's eight years old now. Another shoulder in. Absolutely no change in rhythm, no change in forward desire, impulsion to burn, expression, self-carriage. It really has it all. Half pass. That is natürlich nach wie vor eine sehr beautiful expressive Weltmeister. Front legs and hind legs. Now extended trot. Which probably isn't quite quite more than the medium trot. They look pretty similar to me. Well, wow, now he's time to settle into the collected trot and show a very good cadence in the shoulder in right. It's the right amount of flexion. Eight metre circle, truly eight metres, directly from the circle to the half pass. Shoulders leading a little bit. Wow. Quite amazing. Now the collected walk. And again, you can see the fabulous regularity and the very good rhythm and clarity of the steps in the collected walk. Perhaps a little bit tense. But is a, is a stallion, and it was his first class, a big show like this. Now the pirouette right. Oh, very good. So now we see the extender walk from the corner and super relaxation. He's uh, really loosens himself in the extended walk. Perhaps not the over track that we have seen from here in the past, but perhaps a little bit caused from being a little bit tight and a little bit tense in this environment at Arkham that was, like, quite incredible. <laughs> That's what you call a transition, uphill to canter, sitting on 74%. Peace and George isn't always the highest marking test. It's difficult to get good marks. Over 70% is not always so easy. And again, in the cant, you can see his amazing ability to give this uphill impression. It's not actually an impression, it's absolute reality. With those beautiful front legs that just hardly touch the ground and leave the ground. Good lowering of the hind leg. And the pirouette. Wow. <laughs> He's just so containable. It's quite amazing. Counter canter. Corner, straight line. Looks like he's got all the time in the world to canter along that short side. Puts him on his hocks for the pirouette. Wow. The the balance and the, the uh, amazing way that he can just bring his forehand around the hind leg is exemplary. Now the fours. 
dass man nicht permanent da die Nullen oder Zehnen schreibt. Da muss man dann schon auch auf die Details gucken. Ja, da hat sie recht gehabt. Boah, das hat sie natürlich toll gemacht, finde ich. Ne? Diese vier Sprünge genutzt, um dann den nächsten Wechsel really good changes. vorzubereiten. Es fing an, so ein bisschen tief und flach zu werden. Also, Threes. Alles hier in einem Glamourdale-Maß sozusagen. Unheimlich aktives Wert. Ne? Unheimlich really good active changes. Wert. Die Dreierwechsel für mich. Almost an eight for the... Viererwechsel, da war ja diese eine... Fours. Big extended canter. <lacht> Incredible. He went a whole lot faster in the presentation. He actually got out of control and also der hat einen left Glocken the presentation at the rate of knots, I can assure you, straight out under the tunnel, out into the warm-up, and he jumped into the cafeteria at the end of the arena. But stallions in presentations, dead square halt. Super. Really fantastic test. There's the Aussies, I can see Robin Smith in the front row. Fantastic test. That was an absolute treat and I hope you guys enjoyed Glamourdale and Charlotte Fry from Great Britain and uh, an exceptional horse and keep your eyes on that one because I can assure you it's going to go a long, long way. It's a powerful, expressive, beautifully balanced and exceptionally well-ridden horse. So uh, we really did all enjoy that and we talked about that one a lot. Thank you for watching tonight's video recap with Equestrian Life. We'll see you next time.